Hello and welcome back to the channel. A lot has changed since we last spoke. Apologies, work kind of got in the way, but I'm back. Um, and today I have something a little bit special. I'm not just talking about the fact that I'm without Tim, who's not here today, so hopefully the technical content will remain nice and high, but I have something a little bit special inside this pouch here. On with the video. So as you know, I love all things radio frequency ID. I've got quite a lot of little radio frequency ID toys. And when I heard that there was a new version of the Chameleon coming out, I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. And so I don't know if this is the uh, world exclusive uh, YouTube video, I, I don't think it is, but it's definitely one of the earlier ones, I think, where we're gonna take a little bit of a look at the brand new Chameleon Ultra, which looks very, very, very similar to the uh, Chameleon uh, Professional, just that my one is in purple, but this has got some interesting things inside it. So for those of you who know, um, the um, RFID Research Group, uh, Proxmark Community, they make uh, these devices. You can see here, you can see a, a, a Proxmark RDV4 with the Blue Shark module on there. You can see a, um, a Chameleon um, uh, Tiny. So you can see here one of the earlier Chameleons. You can see here one of the Chameleon uh, Tinies. Uh, and now I've got my hands on the brand spanking new Chameleon Ultra. It's really nice, it's purple, but it does a few things that kind of blend these two devices together. And it's me really fascinated to see how this goes. So for example, as you may be aware, the uh, Chameleon uh, Tiny is an awesome device, very much like the original Chameleon, but added uh, Bluetooth support to it. So that instead of having to connect it to your phone using a cable, uh, which was a bit of a hassle, you could just Bluetooth to it and you could con control it using the app on the phone, which was really, really, really handy. And you could load profiles on here and load keys and a few other things and use it for um, MF key 32 attacks and various things like that. However, the new Chameleon Ultra does all of that, but also has some of the features that you used to have to have a Proxmark for. So for example, uh, dark side attack, nested attacks, they're all now possible directly on the Chameleon. Now, this product is not yet for sale at this moment in time. If you're looking to get one of these, pre-order one. They look really, really awesome. And the software support will be there at time of launch of the product. Uh, at the moment, uh, you could use your laptop, you can plug in, and I'll do a video a bit later on kind of showing you how you can do some of these things if you've managed to get your hands on one of these. Um, and you can use this for doing uh, low frequency attacks. At the moment, the sport's a little bit sort of spotty for low frequency, uh, but you can also do, as I said, uh, nested, and you can do dark side attacks on here. And as soon as all this stuff comes out and it's all exactly to the same level as the, um, as the tiny, um, sorry, the tiny professional was, um, I'm gonna imagine that you're gonna be able to use your mobile phone uh, and use all of this lot. So with this and this, you kind of replace the laptop uh, and the Chameleon, uh, sorry, and the uh, Proxmark all in one go. And that for me is an absolute game changer. So this was just gonna be a really, really quick video just to sort of introduce you to the fact that now with this little Chameleon Ultra, you can replace potentially your Keezy, which does low frequency. You can replace your Proxmark. Um, so all of this lot, can kind of technically, in fact, all of this lot, so your your uh, your, your your original um, uh, Chameleon, your Keezy, uh, and your Proxmark, in theory, can now all be replaced with your Chameleon um, uh, Ultra, which is gonna be really, really tiny and really amazing. So be fascinated to see where this thing develops, and I'm sure we're gonna be doing a lot more videos uh, when the final production samples of these come out and the software support starts getting to the level that we need it to be. Um, other little notable features is, I'm not sure if the production ones will come with it, but mine came in this really, really quite sweet little bag, uh, which has a little cutout on the back, which is quite nice. It's sort of a leatherette sort of feeling. And that little cutout's quite useful because it means if you slide it in the right way and then close it down, it means that you can get, if you can see, you can see all the little lights lighting up for whichever slot that you happen to be working on, which is really, really, really smart. 
Um, I don't know, the previous ones came with this ring and that ring was quite useful because you could put it over your finger and it then meant you could hold the device in your hand and do various things, but I would never in for the covert stuff. I'm not a, I'm not really into the red teaming bits. So for me, a little fancy bag is probably a really nice little thing. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Um, as you can probably see, what some other devices on here as well. And I'm going to do a video later on showing you how to do an MF key 32 attack, showing you how you can again uh, compromise the uh, the venerable um, Yale um, Connexus uh, smart lock, uh, and how you can use this to uh, crack your your Yale key. But you kind of need to do an MF key 32 attack um, to actually get the uh, the initial starting keys. So I will do that one a little bit later on. Let me know what you think of this video below. Let me know what you would like to see in this video coming up. And until next time, have fun. Make sure you pre-order one of these little babies and let's learn along together.